Hello, this is Mr. Doty again, and today I am going to show you guys how to get your uh, hatch patterns that you can download. I uh, put them on uh, some of my classes. Uh, if you're using AutoCAD, um, there's another way you can do it uh, for Revit, but this is just for AutoCAD. Uh, if you're trying to find different hatch patterns, um, the ones that are built in may not do exactly what you want and that's okay. Uh, first thing you want to do is to not have AutoCAD on. Okay. Um, the next thing that you would need to do is to make sure that, um, well first of all I have my uh, Windows Explorer up and I'm, I'm running Windows 7. Uh, you should be able to do this, I think it's the same in 10 and 8, but anyway. Um, you need to find, look under your folder and uh, search options and uh, if you click on view uh, make sure that hidden files and folders it says show hidden files folders and drives uh, make sure that's turned on because otherwise you're not going to find where this needs to go okay so I put some basic instructions on my link um, for one of my classes. I haven't got it in all the classes. I'm still working on that. Um, hopefully by the time I, you watch the video I'll have it done. Uh, anyway, so um, what I've done is uh, I've uploaded, uh, let's see, this 105, 301, uh, this 56, and I don't, I didn't even look in what were in these three here. Um, so I don't know. But, and I didn't download, I didn't upload any of these for you because I think they're all the standard ones anyway. Um, I don't know, a few years ago I was looking for some hatch patterns to do something in AutoCAD and um, anyway so uh, I downloaded these. Uh, I Basically I just looked for hatch patterns online. I found some of them, uh, some of them from Revit City will work but not all of them because I tried just uploading one of my Revit ones and it didn't work so anyway uh, some of these might help you with some of your drawings. Uh, for the architecture and uh, we'll see how it goes. So anyway, what you want to do is download the files and wherever they're at, um, you want to unzip. So uh, I haven't unzipped Mr. 301 here yet, so I'll just double click on him. And uh, no matter which version you're getting, uh, when you open it, it should say extract all files on 10. It's got an extra window up here at the top that pops up and you know, you just have to follow directions and Okay, uh, pull this back over here. So I get this and it says, where do you want to put it? Well, I have this stored in my library for Revit and so on. But um, where it needs to go is if you click on Browse and you have this turn your uh, hidden files turned on. That's why I showed you. Um, you're going to go to C. You're going to look down here for User. Do, 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 do. Where's it at? There it is, users. Now, I'm on a network, so I have to go with my login. Now, if you have a login set up, like, well, I mean, there's a profile set up for you, and it may be default, it may be, uh, it won't be public, it may be whatever you named your computer, like mine's BS Doty at home, or something like that. Um, so anyway, don't you love it when an email comes in, you're trying to do something and you're like, oh, wow. So, sorry. Anyway, so this is my uh, profile that I need to look under. And uh, let's see, app data, is that where it is? I'm going to look up here and see where it is. Okay. Yes, so my username, app data and then roaming so let's see app data roaming okay now I'm looking for Autodesk and then I need to scroll down here now I have AutoCAD 2015 and 2017 uh, I added some to 2017 uh, now make sure you don't have AutoCAD running right now because you have to load this stuff and then 
run AutoCAD and then it'll go back and find them. Alright, so we'll just do 17 since I just opened it. And 17 is released 21.0. You may have whatever you have, maybe like 16 might be release 20. I don't know, it could be release. I assume it's release 20. But anyway, so 21, and you open that up, and then uh, ENU, and then you want to do support. Support is the one that you want to put it in. And so you'll notice, see up here, that's where I've got that. So anyway, I copied and pasted it, but this is how you can just extract your zip folder to it. Hit OK. Um, I'm not worried about, well, I guess you could show it. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So hit extract. And it's going, it's going, it's going. And it says, hey, do you want to overwrite this? Well, you know what? There's 102 of them apparently that are the same as what's in there. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm not going to copy those 102. And it should copy the rest of them in there. So, um... I now have 376 items. Wow. Pretty cool. Anyway, so there they are. They're all there. They added all the extra ones in. And um, so I'm just going to close that guy out. Now, I am going to go open AutoCAD. Uh, i got to go find it. Okay. All right. Oh, I've got AutoCAD on. I got to turn it back off. No, I don't want to save the drawing. All right, let's try this again. I know you can't see all this because I don't have enough room for my computer to make it do it. So here we go. All right, I'm loading AutoCAD 17, and it's going to show up here in a sec. And it's going to show up here in a sec. And there it is. And there it is. Oh, hey. How you doing? All right. Well, I don't have it always, so it's on part of the screen. Okay. There we go. Okay. I got my AutoCAD up. So now, what am I gonna do? I want to go draw me. I'm just gonna draw me a box because I have to have something within to put a hatch. And I don't have any layers set up. It's no big deal. It's just just base drawing. So I go to my hatch command. Now, if you click on this little button right here, boom. normally, you would not have quite this many. Wow, look at all that. Check that out. You don't have this many. Well, now you do. Look, there's grass. There's grass three. There's grass one, two. Granite. Gravel. Well, we had gravel. A weird brick, like an angle. There's lattice. There's uh, some actual decent screen on here. Um, so, anyway, all these different ones. So, you pick texture, you pick there, there's your texture. Uh, don't forget to adjust your scale as needed to make it whatever size you want but this is just showing you how it works all right so there you go that's it boom you now have a gazillion hatch patterns and that's really all we need to do so until next time have fun